What's up, people? So in this video, um, today I am going to share with you on my experience from the Lake of Calandra mechanics. Uh, what you basically need to know and what I will recommend. Plus, I'll just give an overall conclusion on how I actually felt about the Lake of Calandra. Um, despite all of the uh, popular streamers or content creators whatever they say i don't care okay because this is what i think it is and i feel um it's just based on different people perspective okay so let's just begin okay and first up right i just want to let you guys know every time when you uh encounter a mirror tablet there are basically three choices on the tablet, all right? One is the reroll option, the other one is the skip, and the third one will be the exile. So when you reroll, it basically does not skip a choice chance, okay? Among all of the three options, I think the reroll option it is kind of like the best one because it doesn't use up your choice options, your choice chance. Usually you see like two out of two, okay? Um, and this reroll option does not even use one of it, okay? Whereas the skip option is kind of like the reroll option, but it uses up one choice chance. So which means if you skip, it will become one out of two, and you will have to do more maps to encounter again, all right? Um, the last one is the exile option. It basically removes one option from the choices, okay? So um, what do you actually remove over here? What I will recommend is you remove the tile that actually um, tells you, you know, you can swap a tile for another tile, right? The contents, all right? I mean the contents. And the other one is swap those, uh, exile those difficult contents that, uh, or the tiles that you think you might have problem with. So stuff like essence, um, stuff like, chaos pack of monsters all right because if you're on low budget most likely you don't have any chaos resistance and high chance if you get slapped by a rare chaos mob with chaos arch nemesis modifier you might die so i mean this is just one of the um, options i am uh telling you you can remove okay all right so the max you can get for every mirror tablet that you encounter is three of the reroll, three of the skip, and three of the exile, right? Um, but basically, how to get these chances is uh, you need to unlock them by completing the requirement listed. So I have actually, uh, I don't have the full list because I've done some of them, but I actually screenshot some of the options. Like let's say for the reroll one, you can see um, the second and the third choice will be you need to complete a reflection with essence at difficulty 6 or more to unlock and then complete a reflection with a bridge at a difficulty of 8 or more to unlock, right? So um, for the skip option, I really can't remember but I think it was pretty easy because I got all of them. And then the exile option is complete a reflection with legion, monolith at difficulty 8 or higher and then beyond with that higher. Alright, so stuff like that, you, you can go and mouse over it and it basically will tell you, okay? Alright, and so the next thing I want to talk about is what are the leak mechanics in the Lake of Calandra, okay? It doesn't have every single one of it. So the first one is Strong Box, okay? The second one is Delve. Um, third will be Bridge, Metamorph, Delirium, Beyond, Shrine, Essence, Harbinger, Legion, and Expedition. Okay, so some of the examples is uh, whatever that I've shown you, like essence, you see it will contain three essence, essence are tier higher, um, expedition, you have reflection of the sun, so basically everything that drops there is just sun artifacts, okay, like your burial medallion, alright, and then you have beyond, beyond that has uh, reflection of the nightmare, staying close together, as usual, it will attract monsters and you always spawn a beyond portal, so on and so forth. So these are the leak mechanics. Um... I do know that Harvest is not inside, Retro is not inside, I'm not sure what else is out there, but I have checked the whole entire list and this is basically the leak mechanics available. Alright, we're not talking about other stuff like the pack of mon monsters or whatever, this is just leak mechanics. Okay? okay, and next is the choices that you should take. 
All right. Um, based on my opinion, all right, and my own experience, I felt that those that gives good currency, there is actually only four of them. Okay, one is bridge only with bridge lot. All right. Uh, like I screenshot here. Um, basically you can see this particular tau or option choice is the one that contains a bridge slot and it drops a bridge stone then again you might get a shitty bridge stone so do not expect too much okay and the bridge slots uh, might be a little bit difficult okay it might be a little bit difficult but you can actually put the bridge more towards the entrance so that it is much easier right it doesn't mean that it doesn't mean that if you put the bridge this particular bridge uh, with the bridge lot behind it's going to drop you a pure bridge stone no this doesn't work that way okay uh beyond technically i just felt that all of the beyond mod is good because when you kill the beyond monsters no matter what they are going to have a percentage chance to drop the tinder currency and some of the tinder currencies are really very expensive like the tinted fusing okay Next is Expedition. This is just no doubt, okay? Uh, only Black Scythe and Sun because they do drop Exotic Coinage and Burial Medallion. Uh, exotic Coinage is going for like 4C each and Burial Medallion is 7C each. I have encountered one Expedition for Sun where I actually got um, 16 Burial Medallion. Okay, 16. I'm not sure if I'm lucky or whatsoever, but... Uh, basically, I got a lot from it. Okay, I don't know how, but yeah, somehow I got a lot. Okay, and next is, I really, really, really highly recommend to ignore Essence. Okay, Essence is freakingly crazy this time around. <laughs> like, it's back to last week where Arch Nemesis was so strong in the beginning and Essence is like some uber endgame boss. This is the exact same situation, okay? Essence is really too strong, regardless whether you are doing the late of Calandra or in maps. Uh, I feel that you should just completely ignore it, even though you maybe you have a very strong build that you know you can uh, kill stuff. You are bossing build, so you can kill single target stuff. Uh, you, sorry, you I mean you can deal single target damage really very fast and very good, but there are some that is still so toxic that before probably you can even touch them you are already dead okay that's that's how i felt about essence in the layer of calandra they are especially strong right so next is um when you are at the entrance there i would recommend to just take those normal pack of monsters for starters okay at the start um there really isn't much choices so when you don't really have a good option, just fill in those at the entrance with pack of monsters, okay? You just want to clear them and get going. Your real reward starts from probably 6 onwards, okay? Uh, 5 or 6 onwards. And then another thing to take note is, can you see below here, I actually took a screenshot. Uh, reflection of Tyranny, defeat several powerful foes forged in blood. Okay, this is just one example. So basically... Powerful monsters or foes, right? They give better reward, like divination card or scarabs. When you defeat pack of monsters, right? They give you stuff like um, rare armor, rare jewelry, and normal currencies. All right, this is this tree is the ones that I remember. But when you defeat a pack of like the several powerful foes or monsters, right? They drop a different tier of reward. Okay, so which means actually if you put these powerful monsters right um, behind, uh, further away from the entrance where the difficulty is higher, they are going to drop a lot more stuff. Okay, so let's say if you get a scarab reward, like maybe at difficulty 8, it's not going to drop one scarab, it's not going to drop two, it's going to drop multiple of them, maybe like six or seven. Okay, so that's why uh, if you encounter any one of these powerful four and you think you can handle them because they are actually quite powerful as well um, then put them behind and you will be rewarded right okay, next up is i want to show you guys like how actually you should arrange your tablet all right so basic uh time of rule the further away from the entrance the more loots it will drop but the higher uh the difficulty will be so let's say for example i have taken this uh tablet see the one on the left so this is the entrance, right? The tiles next to it will be difficulty 1 
and then as long as you move towards it the higher the difficulty will be so let's say this uh my cursor here this is one two three four five six okay so uh this is just a base foundation understanding of this tablet and then how you should always arrange is um always leave empty tiles for the last okay so uh, what what do i mean by this okay maybe my phrasing is not so good uh but basically like example uh what i've shown you here leave exam uh based on this layout okay you always want to leave the empty tiles where you can swap the entrance why do you want to swap it because you want to swap it as close as the corners as possible so that the further away the contents are the more reward you will get right and the other powerful swapping will be to swap a uh, empty water towel for a uh, no to swap an empty towel with a water towel right so by doing this right let me just show you an example you see um the x that i mark over here if you were to swap with a water towel here basically your entrance is going to go all the way to the right and then top and then left and here okay so let's just say let's just imagine uh okay actually there's no need to imagine i already done it over here i encountered one that is exactly the same situation i took a pack of monster all right and then i put it somewhere that is uh not x like i show you because i want to relocate all of the empty tiles those empty tiles okay and the second choices i took was actually to change a water towel with an empty towel so this is literally what i did i changed okay so if the entrance is here, this is one. The next one is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, this is difficulty nine. That's why I say you have to think ahead first before you fill in the empty tiles because you will kind of more or less definitely encounter one of them. All right, whether is it swap or change entrance location or whatsoever, they are really very important and uh you have to think on think about how you want to manage this swapping okay so um this is uh one example that i oops sorry this is one example that i actually uh have already done up all right this is another of the mirror tablet so i will say from difficulty six onwards right it might actually get a little difficult if you're on a low budget bill right they are quite powerful uh in a sense that the damage done to you is quite big. Okay, so just take note. And you can see from here, right, I managed to swap all the way, uh, as in my entrance, all the way to the bottom left corner. So the rewards is like this. So this is one. And then you have two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So I got twelve. Okay. Um this is basically Legion. So if twelve and Legion will mean that I will have a lot of splinter drops. Um, this is 11. 11 is shrine. I purposely put a shrine here so that I can kill the legion much easier. Uh, 10 was essence. This is insane. When I look at it, I didn't even want to touch it. This was a big mistake. Okay, this was a big mistake. So I totally skip it. This is actually one of the tiles that I was talking about earlier where you have to defeat a powerful foe. Okay, I do not have the video clip of this because I didn't expect that I would get lots of Scarab. Basically, what it does give me was it gave me a Scarab reward chest and it dropped a lot of Scarab for me. I think uh, maybe about 7 or 8. They are like polished and even uh, 1 or 2 gilded. So yeah, it was pretty good. Okay, it's really pretty good. Uh, just that the rewards are not fix it can be either divination cards or scarabs or maybe even more okay i so far i only encountered these two so far i only encountered these two and yeah i uh, just want to give you guys a, a quick showcase on how i arrange my uh, mirror tablet okay now i'm going to show you a very quick showcase on one of my tablets um this is the layout okay i would say it's not very good but i managed to swap it over here and you can see every one of them i actually just took packs of stuff okay uh literally just pack of stuffs okay they are not really very good uh but yeah why pack of stuffs um rather than other 
contents because they don't really give good things, all right? And the pack of stuffs have chance to drop to give you currency reward chests. And these currency reward chests sometimes can be very rewarding. I have a... Uh, I have one of the player on my Discord channel where he actually got a divine op from one of this pack of monsters. All right, it was like difficulty seven or something. So yeah, it's just a, it's just a chance. Okay, it's just a chance. But yeah, if there's really nothing better to do, I will suggest to take those because they are easier to kill and you won't have difficulty with it. You won't keep dying with it. The rest of the contents are actually really very hard, especially um when you go higher in difficulty why is there no reward oh i haven't cleared them oops okay so this is just armor uh just pick it up and go okay don't need to think so much kill i honestly really like the pack of monsters because they are very straightforward right they are very straightforward and there is really nothing to look out for. Basically, you just kill them and get along with your stuff. Oh, I got a six ling. Okay. So yeah, if it's if it's maybe rare jewelry or whatever, it really rare jewelry or rare armor or weapons. It really depends whether you want to open it up or not. Okay. Um. Uh, maybe you can ignore it if you have already done completed your chaos recipe but if you have not completed your chaos ouch that hurts yeah it's painful sometimes uh, if you haven't completed your chaos recipe then just just um, you probably will want to open it more okay so this is another different kind of chest this is like the generic I, I can't really show you, it's basically just a normal treasure chest and this can drop anything, yes, even currencies, okay, so uh, open up all of them for this type Okay, let me just clear this Ah, there's definition cards as well to stack deck so the pack of mobs actually also just give really random stuff but i remember those that has powerful foes actually have higher chance to give uh those rewards uh, okay and yeah just generally they are much easier to deal with you don't really want to die randomly to all those very difficult contents is not really very nice. Wait, what is this? Why is there no... Oh, he's here. Yeah, no wonder I was like, why is there no reward? Okay. Okay, so um, when you encounter Kalandra, right, like you see on the map, Kalandra is sitting here. When you kill finish everything, she will basically give you this reflecting mist, okay? And then you can generate a uh, amulet or ring or whatsoever, but most of the time it's trash. Yes, just like that. It's trash, okay? So I wouldn't even bother with it. Um, okay, I'll go up first. This is difficulty 6. Okay, this is difficulty 6. It is not exactly very difficult if you go for the pack of monsters, alright? But let me just show you what kind of... If it's a decent drop... Okay, so it's the generic chest. Let me just show you what can it drop. There, it basically just drop more stuff, more quantity of items. There is another difficulty six over here. Oh, this is strong box. Okay. Hmm. For strong box, I am honestly not sure if there is a change in quantity of items drop. Okay. This one, I really not sure. Why did I not run away? Oh my god. 
I'm sorry guys. <gasps> Mistakes do happen. Yeah, I have no idea why I did not run away from the Ice Nova. Okay, and then this backs me. Yeah, I'm lazy to use the alchemy up. Okay, and then the last two will be just pack our monsters. Let's see what we get. Okay, this is a generic chest. Oh my god, only one more chance. Why is it so bad? I wish I can get a, at least a currency chest so I can show you guys. Man. Can I get a currency chest, please? Nope, it's still a generic chest. Right, it's okay. Let's just see what you get. Not very good. Right, but yeah, that's about it. Just want to show you guys like what happens if you don't really have a good option over here and you have to take a lot of pet on mobs this is basically what you get don't ignore the six link but yeah this is basically what you get all right um usually i will get at least one currency chest at least one all right okay. i'm gonna give a very so, short conclusion yeah. on the mechanic of the lead of calandra what i really think so the rewards are not really very awesome okay i have to agree with most of the uh, community or the streamers they are really not very good okay it is not as rewarding so i kind of expected it like let's say if um i open i open a, a chest a reward chest from one of the pet or monsters let's just even say maybe the rare jewelry all right i expect more jewelry to drop rather than just one or two of them okay one or two of them is very pathetic yeah, I'd rather just go to highs and do. Like the rewards are more broad, it drops more and it gives a lot of EXP as well. Right, and it's kind of like safer in highs. I mean, I'm just quoting an example, okay? So, of course, the time duration when you do this Lake of Calandra mechanic is about the same as doing a map, right? So that's why I, I don't really think it is worth it to spend your time doing it as, or as for now because the the rewards are just really very bad okay um but but it is very good for the early game for those of you that wants to farm your kiosk recipe okay so um it drops decent rare items i wouldn't say a lot uh and you can start doing it from at night onwards so this is only for those of you that, that are doing the kiosk recipe okay you might want to try or play around with this uh link mechanic and i you can start doing it from agna onwards right um next is it's very hard to get those good choices like expedition and beyond they are very rare to encounter partly because the pool of choices is very huge all right there is a total of about 80 plus um choices and expedition has like only two beyond has like three so just imagine five out of 80 choices okay that's not even that's not even 10 percent that is like a single digit percent from the three choices that you can get to choose every single time so uh yeah i i wouldn't say it's very all of your tablets are going to be super profiting okay next is just I, i'm not sure is it just me but essence is ridiculously strong in here Okay, I have tried many times to complete the difficulty 6 essence to get one more extra reroll, but I have never completed it once. I just keep dying and dying and dying. It's very, very strong, okay? It's just so strong that I I gave up on it, right? Um, and last but not least is when you are near the mid-game stage, right? Um, I will recommend to ignore this mechanic and farm maps instead. Okay, unless you hit expedition or beer contents in the mirror tablet, then maybe you can consider to have a change of pace and do this. Okay, otherwise I don't think it's worth the time to go in to this and try to you know farm some stuff out of it. Uh, honestly, you won't get anything really very good. And maybe if you do 
if you have a difficulty of like maybe 10, 11 or more, the amount of time you're going to take to do this, right, you can probably do two maps. All right. So just um, just a quick reference. And what I meant by mid game stage is when you have complete your atlas. Okay, complete uh, all of almost all of your atlas and you're just farming maps normally. Uh, just ignore this okay there is a lot of rng involved for the rewards generated from each area uh from the gameplay you can actually see like i did not get a single um currency chest right even even when all of the pack of monsters as in all of the tiles are like pack of monsters i did not even get a single one so there is a lot of rng involved here there is like rare uh armor rare weapon rare jewelry uh generic chest drop divination cards and currencies right so i never even get one and that's what i meant by a lot of rng buff okay so yes that's it i hope you guys have a better understanding on this and yep i hope my conclusion can help you guys understand that this is not really worthwhile for your time Right, and okay, that comes to the, the end of this video. So um, if you have any questions, do join the Discord and I will try to answer your questions. And if you like my video, do remember to hit the like and subscribe button. I will see you in the next one. Bye.